Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Thursday, March 31st. It is the 90th day of the year. There are 275 days left. Happy National Tater Day! If you like your spuds, National Tater Day on March 31st is just for you. The day recognizes all kinds of potatoes, which provide us with essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Potatoes are quite versatile, which might explain why so many people like them. They are the number one consumed vegetable in the United States. And when you consider how many ways we can eat the over 200 different kinds of potatoes in the United States, you shouldn't be surprised. First off, we can bake them. Who doesn't like baked potatoes? Yeah, I see you in the back. Put your hand down. The rest of us absolutely love the baked spud. Plus those baked potatoes, you can bake them twice. Twice! You can boil them and make soups, salads, or Mrs. Erickson's all-time favorite, mashed potatoes. And then mashed potatoes have their own different recipes too. Shepherd's pie, Dice them, slice them, we can make scalloped, fried, or even hash browns. And don't even get me started on potato dumplings and pancakes. Guys, this is a great day. Did you know worldwide there are more than 4,000 potato varieties? I think I want to try each and every one. But maybe not all on National Tater Day. Today is also National Farm Workers Day, National Crayon Day, National Bunsen Burner Day, and Manatee Appreciation Day. Today's shout out goes out to Mrs. Wright and everyone in the Functional Life Skills class at Tommy Douglas Collegiate School in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Thank you guys so much for watching up there in Canada. I so appreciate your support. Our second shout out goes out to Ms. Tokan and everyone in her fifth grade class at Heights Elementary School in Fort Myers, Florida. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. So to everyone in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, and everyone in Fort Myers, Florida, thank you for your support, thank you for watching, and I hope you loved your shout outs. Teachers, would you like to get your class a shout out? Just complete the Google form. The link can be found below in the description. What do you say we make Mrs. Erickson's favorite dish and whip up some mashed potatoes? First, you're gonna start by washing and peeling your potatoes. Then you'll need milk, butter, and salt and pepper. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut the potatoes into small squares. This is called dicing a potato. Please make sure you get help with using the knife if you need it. So on your stovetop, you're going to bring a pot of water to a boil and then slowly and carefully slide the diced potatoes into the pot of boiling water. The potatoes will cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, but keep an eye on them. As soon as they're done, you want to take the pot off of the heat. Then you're going to strain the water out of the potatoes and then return the potatoes back to the pot. In the pot, you want to add in two tablespoons of butter. Mash up the potatoes really good. That'll help mix the butter in. And about a quarter cup of milk. You can always add more if you need it. A little sprinkle of salt and a little sprinkle of pepper. And 
and then using an electric mixer or a hand mixer, whichever works better for you, mash those potatoes up. So, mashed potatoes, they're hot, super hot. So I have a hot pad on my hand so I don't burn it because they're super warm. This is one of my family's favorite side dishes. We have them on Thanksgiving, we have them on Christmas. I mean, we have them a lot of other times too, but you know, special occasions, Mrs. E always breaks out the mashed potatoes. Keep smiling National Dares. Have a thoughtful Thursday. Get some type of titer in your tummy today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm. Hot.